What is a flame with Astro? Take one action. Cut, cut, cut. You narrator. Take two. It all starts with a triangle of fuel, heat, and oxygen. It goes a little something like this. First, you have your fuel. For most fires, the fuel is organic matter, which most of the time comes from something that was once alive. It could be a block of wood, it could be coal, which comes from ancient fossils, or it could be your uncle's brown shoes. I leave my tennis alone. In this case, we have a candle. The fuel is the wax, made up of lots of little wax molecules. As we go inside the flame, we find that each one is made of a carbon atom with four hydrogens stuck to it. Oh, you got hydrogens on your face. Now, they're actually shaped more like tetrahedrons, but we'll keep our cute one for now. Not just that, but in a given wax molecule, there might be up to 46 of these guys. Really? I'm going back to my trailer. But Alan, Alan, come on. Fine, let's film the heat sequence. Then we introduce heat. Heat is a form of energy and is essentially about wiggling matter. The hotter the matter, the more it wiggles. The wax is considered frozen when in solid form. Can't feel my hydrogens. But as it warms up, the wax molecules start to move more. There's even more heat. Some of the molecules lift off and become vapors or gas. Now we add oxygen. oxygen to the now that there's hot molecules in the air from our fuel, they interact with the oxygen through a chemical reaction and recombine, emitting lots of energy. Without access to oxygen, you can see our flames don't last too long. In perfect combustion, two hydrogens mix with each oxygen to create water, and one carbon mixes with two oxygens to make carbon dioxide. So where does all that energy go? We can see this emitted energy as all things glow through a process called black body radiation. Even our bodies glow and emit infrared light, light not visible to our eyes. Candles, however, burn with enough energy that in addition to the heat, they give off visible light. Kids, kids, get together for a photo. Yeah, it's Wow! All this for visible light. Honey. Wow! It's pure gas burning. It often burns blue. But because of the impurities of things burning, like as in Ralph's ah. shoe, Give me that. the blue is overpowered by yellow, orange, and red that we see in many flames like in this candle. We can even see some of these impurities burn off as soot in this experiment. The tall shape that we see of a flame is due to gravity, because the hotter of a flame rises, ow, 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 ow. while the cooler <sighs> tends to sink. In all, the flame is the heat and light emitted from a fuel when it has heat and interacts with oxygen, and it has many wonderful things to explore.